What's up, y'all? Welcome to another Objective C tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about polymorphism. Now, my guess is that you probably heard polymorphism before, and you heard it's one of the most confusing topics in objective oriented programming. But trust me, it's not, especially when I'm teaching it to you, because I'm going to make it real simple, real easy, crystal clear. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is I went ahead and we're starting from a blank program. Uh, the only thing I typed in already is you know all the housekeeping stuff so let's go ahead and add some new classes so go ahead right click source add new file and go ahead and let me show you what guys what I'm doing here go ahead and click next and I'm gonna have a numbers class and a characters class name the numbers class like nums or something like that finish and now we have a header for our numbers class so first of all we want to import from foundation and let me see what time it is say 38 so now I know when I run out of time alright so go ahead and import from foundation and tighten this up a bit that's what she said and for your interface for your numbers class let's just go ahead and add three variables in num1 int num2 and int answer what we're going to be doing is adding number one and number two and getting an answer uh, in case you were curious so let's go ahead and make three methods um, the first one will be void uh, set numbers to give them you know a value but of course we need to do int a and you know I guess you can see what's going on here int b let me see if that looks good. Yep, looks good to me. And now let's go ahead and add an add method to add them together. It's not going to take any parameters, it's just going to add them. And let's go ahead and void print to print out something. So let me make sure that looks good. Set numbers. Not too bad to tell you the truth. Not bad at all. So let's go ahead and copy these right here. And in our implementation file, first of all, get rid of all these comments because I hate them. And paste it all. And to set the numbers, what we want to do is just go ahead and set num1. Remember, that's a variable we have in our class. Set that equal to a, what we pass in. And num2, set that equal to b, the value that we pass in. And when we want to add them together, all we have to do is take that answer variable, that third variable, and set it equal to num1 plus num2. Pretty cool, eh? And for the print, let's just go ahead and print out something crazy. Let's go ahead and NS log this stuff right here. And why did my computer just make a sound? Not cool, not cool. So let's go ahead and NS log be like, I am from the numbers class, biatch. And then just go ahead and, you know, explanation point with emphasis, percent I. And let's just go ahead and print out the answer. So pretty odd classes we got going on right now, but you know, um, I just want to demonstrate you know a s couple simple things. So don't forget, in this class we have a set numbers method that takes two method that takes two arguments and sets them equal to the numbers. Add method which pretty much sends answer equal to the sum of the num one and num two, and print method that prints everything out. So now that we have that good to go, let's go ahead and create a new class. Add new file next and name this one chars with a z I don't like to name it my classes like numbers or characters because I mean there might be a built-in method already so I like to you know no one's gonna build a method that includes a z at the end besides me so that's why I like to do this so let's go ahead foundation and foundation there we go and interface the interface looks good so far so for our interface let's just have two variables char and I guess I didn't even mention this before a char is pretty much a character like W or B that's all it is so that's what class we're gonna be working with two variables in here char C1 char C2 and let's just go ahead and add three methods um, void set chars and we're going to be using a similar um, name go ahead and put add and print so now you're already seeing 
one thing right now. All right, we have three methods in each class, the nums and the chars, but look, two methods have the same name. They both have add and print. Oh, I see. So, uh, you know, this can get confusing potentially later down the line. So let's, anyways, that's what we're going to be talking about. So copy and in your implementation file, um, control V, all you want to do is set the characters. And to do that, let's go ahead and put like C1 equal to, and make sure you put it in single quotes. Um, put it equal to any capital letter you want, like B. And C2 equal to um, W. That looks good. It doesn't really matter the letters. And for add, what we want to do is let's just have a NS log print statement. And let's just go ahead and add these letters together. So um, percent I is for working with integers, and percent C is for working with characters. So let's go ahead and print out two characters right next to each other that are going to be C1 and C2 or BW. So BW should appear whenever we call this method. Now for our print statement, let's just go ahead and like NS log, NS logs, nice, NS Lincoln logs. I ramble a lot. So let's go ahead and print out, be like, I am from the Chars class, mofo. Wasn't Chars a Pokemon? Charmander or something? Charizard? I can't remember. But anyways, I'll show you what's going on right here. Make sure we got everything set, good to go. So what we did in this tutorial is we built two classes. We built a numbers class that had three variables, an add and a print method, and we built a character class that had two variables, an add and a print method. Huh. So whenever we go in our main method and try to call the add and print method, how's it going to know what one to pick? And we're probably going to get a ton of errors. Or are we? Boom, boom, boom. Lead into the next tutorial. So that's what we're going to be talking about in the next tutorial. And that is pretty much polymorphism. Again, I know I explained nothing. Just type a bunch of code in this tutorial. The next tutorial is all the explaining and all how everything works and what polymorphism is. So thank you guys for uh, sticking with me. And uh, make sure to check out the next tutorial for our continuation of this program and for an awesome explanation of polymorphism. So don't forget, if you want the source code, click on the link below to get it for free. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you later.